Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of the Backyard Baseball 2003 Tampa Bay Devil Rays season playthrough. It is game two of the American League Championship Series, the ALCS, and in the last game, we beat our opponents, the Seattle Mariners, 12 to 2, got two grand slams, one from Pablo, one from Amir Khan, we got also got homers from Keisha Phillips and Pete Wheeler all around. It's a pretty solid game hitting wise. On defense, it was not that great. We allowed a run off an error, and then Randy Johnson me you know i was pitching i gave up a really bad home run uh to fred benson that was not good but with all that out of the way here uh, are the notes before we start the game everyone is normal with the exception of ichiro who has a minus two in batting and a minus two in fielding honestly ichiro's arm is so good that the minus two in fielding is probably not that bad and then also with the minus two in batting ichiro is a contact hitter anyway and you know he's still got the 10 out of 10 speed and that's what matters when it comes to ichiro and then as for the mariners nobody's nerfed on any stat but what is interesting is that so many of their players as i'll show you here have for some reason have a plus one in pitching look at this plus one in pitching plus one in pitching plus one in pitching plus one in pitching it's so i it, it's so weird i don't understand why all their players have a plus one in pitching but regardless let's get into this game and let's see if we can perform even better than last week here is pete wheeler who has been a very dominant hitter for us so far Ooh, and that's a bouncer right past Ronnie Dobbs. That is to the shortstop, and he has to die for that base hit for Pete Wheeler. Pete's batting average keeps on climbing. Let's see what Ichiro can do with that batting decrease. Obviously, Ronnie Dobbs is still the starting pitcher for the uh, for the Mariners. We got him off the mound after just 19 pitches. He gave up six runs early. Let's see if he can do the same thing this week. Ooh, and that's a bit of a... Soft fly ball for each row that will not fall in. Pete Wheeler's got to tag back up. Here is Pablo who had that grand slam to really get things going. You know he wants more homers. And there's one right there. What was that? What was that, Ronnie? Are we going to get you out of here right away? What was that, dude? Easy over the middle. Pablo gets another home run. Where was this the entire regular season, man? He's making light work in the playoffs. 496 feet. Man, it feels good to finally have it figured out with Pablo. He is he, he totally ripped that one. And Ronnie Dobbs, man, he better change things up unless he wants a repeat of last week. And here's Ken Griffey Jr., who was the home run leader during the regular season of the entire league. Does not have one, and that's, that's going to be a pop fly. He's been slumping in the playoffs. Does not have a home run yet. Second out. Ooh, and that is a sharp grounder from Aquaman. He has not really been power hidden, but he's gotten some solid base hits, and that's going to be a single. And here she is, what everyone is coming to these games for now. It is Keisha Phillips, who has hit a home run in her last four games. Pardon me, it's actually three games. She has hit four home runs in the last three games. Can we make it four games in a row with a homer? And Ronnie's getting lucky with some of these foul balls. He is not pitching smart. He's pitching these right down the middle. He's hoping these fastballs will go right by us. Ooh, and that's a pop fly. All right, that was a good pitch right there. If he catches this, he will end the inning, and that's it. That's three outs, but with that home run from Pablo, we are already up 2 nothing. And left hook, high and inside. Strikeout on four pitches. And she swings way early on that curveball high and inside, and Randy Johnson strikes her out on three pitches. And there is Fred Benson who was definitely the Mariners' MVP of the last game. He had a double and a home run. He was pretty much the main offensive output for the Mariners, and he's probably the best player on this team overall. And that is a grounder right to Randy, and we're going to just flip to Ahmed. All right, easy first inning for Randy Johnson. That was only 9 or 10 pitches. Great start for us on defense. All right, here is Nomar Garciaparra, who has a nice-looking bat and average, but let me tell you, he has been underperforming in these playoffs he's gotten on base off errors and fielder's choice way more than anybody else he's gotten super lucky so can he finally snap this cold streak Ooh, and that is going to be a sharp line drive into the outfield that's a good quality hit from from pardon me from, from paulo from nomar right there long single so we finally got nomar going and let's see if we can keep amir khan going who is low-key one of the best hitters on this team Ooh, I was a little late on that, and this could be a double play. Well, Nomar's going to be out at second, no double play. But that was close. With the way things are going, Ronnie Dobbs might make it above 20 pitches, which is better than last week, that's for sure. Oof. 
Yikes, that was low. Very bad at bat for Randy Johnson. Ooh, and that is right in front of the catcher, but Pete will probably get to first, and I don't think he would have made that throw to second anyway, so that's going to be base hit for Pete. Ichiro flew out last time. I, I noticed that his contact power was still there, so let's see if we can just, you know, maybe hit one to the dirt, hit one to a gap, and get him on base. He's still got that speed. That's the important thing. Ooh, another fly ball. I don't know where all these fly balls are coming from from Ichiro. I guess I'm just getting under, and that's an error. Really bad error there, and now the bases are loaded. For who else but Pablo Sanchez, right? Can he hit his second grand slam in two games off the error? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained by this sudden outburst from Pablo Sanchez? What was that, dude? Where is this coming from? I was so bad with Pablo in the regular season. And just like that, three home runs in two games, including two grand slams, baby. Let's go. And once again, Ronnie Dobbs gives up six runs early, four of those coming from a Pablo grand slam. This is looking a lot like last week, and he's out of here. And Debbie Nagasawa comes in. Bye-bye, Ronnie Dobbs. There's a brief performance yet again. And the hitting woes continue from Ken Griffey Jr. I don't know what I'm doing with Griffey. That's going to be off the alley-oop there. I don't know what's going on with me and Ken Griffey Jr. We just lost our connection somehow. I hit, I hit 11 homers with him in the regular season, and now it's nothing. Yeah, sorry. So I, I was so bored by that routine play that I didn't even make a call. It's just light work. Ooh, I pitch us in a bad spot. Ooh, and luckily just a grounder right to Pete, and dude, just routine plays, routine plays. One pitch outs, I'm cool with that. Here is Ronnie Dobbs, and uh, he struck out three times last game, and some of y'all were correct to point out that that was not a golden sombrero. A golden sombrero is when a player strikes out four times, not three times. My bad. Obviously, if the game had continued, he would have struck out four times, because he just was not on his game. Ooh, and that is a grounder, so he actually makes contact with the ball, but that's a very easy out, and we are through two innings just like that. Ooh, another grounder from Ahmed. The first baseman is so far back that that will be a base hit. Gosh, dude, she yanked that one foul. Did you see that? Woo! Keisha hits probably the most entertaining foul balls in this game. Ooh, boy. And that one is on the ground. And, well, no, both runners will be safe. They're playing so far back that if we hit an infield hit, I mean, they're not going to get to it in time. Here's Nomar. Let's go in power with Nomar. Nomar would like to redeem himself with a home run. It's been a little bit. Ooh, but that is into the dirt. They did not back up for Nomar. This could be a double play. It will not. So we'll call that a fielder's choice for Nomar. Ooh, and that is a sharp hit from Amir, and that's going to be a home run. All right, home run derby. We're playing home run derby with these Mariners today. I don't know what else to say, man. Amir Khan is the power hitter of the two brothers right now. Things have flipped. Ahmed is the decent contact hitter. Amir is hitting all these dingers. Bases are clear for Randy Johnson, so it's okay if he doesn't get a base hit here. It's all good. As a matter of fact, with Pete up next, I would prefer that Randy Johnson does not get on base. Ooh, and that is towards the gap. Oh, error. Randy Johnson reaches on an error. Our opponents and allowing hits off errors. Name a better combo. Name a better combo. Sometimes I have thought about turning errors off, but that would just be unrealistic because errors do happen in real life, but it's like even on hard difficulty, errors by the CPU happen so frequently that it does get a little bit ridiculous. You're like, come on, man. I don't deserve to be up by this much. I fell off so many good pitches, and then she gets me on that pretty much unhittable pitch. That was a, a good good performance right there from Debbie. All right, Ichiro running behind Randy Johnson. Unless Ichiro hits a fluke home run, I am, I'm just not optimistic about this at all. Are they intentionally walking Ichiro? Those look like pitch outs. Do not tell me they're intentionally walking Ichiro. 3-0 count. Of all the players, why Ichiro? You're not going to walk Keisha, but you'll walk Ichiro? I'm going to be astounded if this is ball four. 
Did we just witness an intentional walk of Ichiro? Why? Pablo's next up. D do you want him to hit another home run off you? Okay, well at this point you're asking for it. I, I have to do it. I got nothing else to say. You have nobody else to blame but yourself. You walked Ichiro with two outs just so Pablo can come up next. And you don't walk him. Three home runs for Pablo Sanchez. What the heck? Dude, the Mariners are collapsing. The Mariners are now all of a sudden in full blown collapse mode. And that is going to be a shot from Ken Griffey Jr. Now he's mad. He's pissed off. That's going to be a long single from Griffey. We scored 12 runs on them in the last game. But they put up, still put up a decent performance, I thought. But this is just pathetic, dude. And now Horace Young is up. Third pitch already. We are still in the top of the third inning. I'm wondering if they just like the punishment, dude. Clearly they enjoy it when Pablo Sanchez hits dingers off him. Because they've allowed four in the last couple of games. Oh. Come on, you're going to try power-up pitches on us? Doesn't work. Let's go. That's going to fall in. Power up coming our way. Let's go. Can we put up 20? Did, did I hear a 20? Can we put up a 20 piece on, on these Mariners? In the ALCS? I don't know, man. We got Kishi up. We got these power ups. I mean, I don't want to have to use a screaming line drive Kishi, but with two base runners on and two outs, I feel like we got to go for it. Can we get a screaming line drive home run? Oh. oh. And I lost it, didn't I? Dang, I wanted to get a screaming line drive dinger off the power up pitch. That'd have been insult to injury. And see if I was them, I if I were them, I would intentionally walk Keisha. I would intentionally walk Keisha, I'd intentionally walk Pablo. Ooh, dang, I was a little bit under that. I knew that one was hittable. Dang. Alright, well just one for three for Keisha today, but I mean we put up six more runs. Dude. This is bad for the Mariners. Rafael Garbanzos. Ooh, that takes a weird turn in the dirt. Nomar, can he recover? He does. Another one pitch out. I tell you what, with all these one pitch outs and then, you know, with how long we're staying at the plate on offense, Randy Johnson is just not going to be subbed out just ever. He's getting to relax. Ooh, and that is the best contact they've had all day. Right out to Griffey. Easy catch. Robbie Baca, who finally got his first hit of the playoffs against us. Off a screaming line drive, but that is right to Nomar, and, uh, well, he's not going to get another hit right there. So we make it through their order in three innings in quick fashion, and they just, it seems like they have no fight in them already. We've already just gotten them completely down bad. There's a sharp hit from Nomar right to their shortstop, but they are so far back, and he does not have the arm. It's going to be a hit. Past the first baseman. Does he have the arm? Nope. We're just going to take the... Free second base. Just keep keep giving us more reason to score, dude. I mean, just please keep making it easier for us. Yeah, Ronnie definitely is crying for his mommy, isn't he? That's just, uh... Does not get old hearing him cry for his mommy. Just get that man out of here. Just, just get him out. <laughs> And the pitcher plays that horribly, and Amir is gonna get on. It's just this is just gosh, dude. Like this, the, these uh, playoff opponents are just bad. Like I feel like we played teams in the regular season that were even better than these guys. And like I said, like when we played the Mariners in the regular season, I mean that was definitely our hardest game. It really was. Ronnie Dobbs pitched a great game. We got one run off a of Ken Griffey Jr. inside the park home run. That was off a power up pitch. So we didn't even have like any normal hits that scored. Shortstop plays it horribly. Everyone's going to be on base. Base hit for Randy Johnson. Yet for whatever reason in this playoff series, Ronnie Dobbs, we've, we've totally had his number. And it's like, it's just, this is a completely different team that we're playing here. Ooh, wow. I didn't even realize that was strike three. That was a pretty interesting pitch. All right, though, RBI opportunity for Ichiro, man. Ichiro does not get a lot of RBI opportunities. I keep on saying that I think he only had four RBIs during the entire regular season. Ooh, and that is right to the second baseman. He, oh, yeah, that'll be an RBI. RBI for Ichiro. Let's go. 13 to 0 at the top of the fourth inning. And who is up? Pablo Sanchez, who has already hit 
three home runs. What are you going to do, Horace Young? What are you going to do? Just walk him. Just walk him. <sighs> See, it's like I almost... If, if I had switched to close, that would have been out of here. That would have been four home runs. I almost feel bad for him. There we go. There we go. Like that. Just just walk him. Just walk him. Save yourself the trouble. Ken Griffey Jr. is up next. He's He's been struggling. No way. <sighs> Bro, I bet Horace saw his life flash before his eyes. Well, they avoid disaster there. Pablo is out for the first time today. He's three for four. And Mariners, you got to do something. You got to do something here. Bottom of the fourth inning, and Randy Johnson has only thrown 20 pitches, dude. He's just making light work. Sure. Why don't you just hit it out, teacher? Oh, wow, actually. I should stop my smack talk, because that was actually a legit hit. All right, wow. All right, a double. Took him four innings of baseball to finally get a hit. But there it is. When there's a grounder, and well, that's actually a well-positioned hit. All right, infield hit, two men on board. Do the Mariners finally have life? It appears like they're at least trying now, which is good. Although, you wait until the bottom of the fourth inning to do it. And that'll be a pop fly, infield fly, yeah. Strikeout number three for Randy Johnson. Let's go. Two outs. This is still by far the best scoring opportunity the Mariners have had probably this entire series, actually, and they need to take advantage. But that'll be a grounder, and Nomar is just going to flip it to Ahmed, and, well, they leave two on. Too bad. Come on, Ken Griffey. Ken Griffey hasn't even scored a run in this series yet. That's the thing, man. We need Griffey to round the bases. Ooh, and that is... Oh my gosh, how many home how many hits to the fence has Ken Griffey Jr. had in this in these playoffs? That's the fourth almost home run he's had. I was hoping we'd get a Conseco uh, homer from Susan Gore right there. That would have been funny. <sighs> that was on the edge of the zone. I had to swing. That would have been a strike anyway. Keisha just one for three. No home run yet. There is nothing to say. Five home runs, four games for Keisha Phillips. Wow, she is just on a completely different level, dude. Unreal. I want a 20-piece, dude. I want a 20-piece spicy McNuggets on these Mariners. Full count. Ooh. Free pass for Nomar. All right. Maybe Horse is running out of gas. Ooh, that was a good pitch. That was a good pitch. That was fast, low, and inside. Kind of looked like it could have been in the strike zone. That was a good. That was a good pitch by Horace. And that's a shot right up the middle from Randy Johnson, and that's going to be another hit. Wow, Randy Johnson, two hits today, two legit hits. All right, I regret to say I want to go on power with Pete Wheeler because he can hit on power mode, but I don't want him running behind Randy. That's like the second strikeout or third of the day for Pete Wheeler. I'm just, I'm, I'm going cold with Pete. It's not good. We leave two on. There is a sharp liner from Ronnie Dobbs. Easy play for Amir Khan. Soft fly ball by Rafael Garbanzos. Infield hit. Easy play for Randy. Time is running out for these Mariners. They need to do something and now. Otherwise, it's, it's done. Simple as. That's a fly ball, and uh-oh, Ken Griffey Jr. and Pablo are on a collision course, and that's going to drop in and go over the fence for ground rule double. Great, guys. Just allowing hits off errors. You don't want to go home? You don't want to go home and just get ready for the World Series? Just want to extend this game for no reason? Come on, Randy. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Four strikeouts. Top of the sixth. I want that 20-piece. We need the 20-piece. When that's a soft fly ball, and that's an error. All right, Ichiro's on. Horrible throw, easy steal for Ichiro. Oof, that's a good strike. They're finally pitching right to Pablo after he dumped three home runs on them. They finally kind of figure out what to do. And there's the walk on the full count. Doing what they should have done, just walk Pablo. 
Just, just let him go. Ken Griffey Jr. No outs. Two men on. Come on. No pressure. Time to get back on board. No. Oh, come on, Griffey. Why is Ronnie Dobbs back? Why is he back? Ooh, and Ken Griffey Jr. hits that fastball. And, well, that's going to be... Well, I think you can classify that as a single. They're playing pretty far back. Pablo's out at second, though, but only one out. And now Petra Chekhov, fourth pitcher of the game for the Mariners, dude. Crazy. Ooh. Let's go! Come on. No! Let's go. Oh, he drops that. He drops that. Let's go. Ichiro scores. That would have scored anyway. We're going to get a power-up, baby. We're going to get a power-up. I don't know if I want to call that an error that was up against the fence, but whatever. We get a power-up. Aluminum power. Ooh, well, we got to save that for Randy Johnson, right? You know what I mean? We, we got to save that for Randy Johnson. And they are going through all of their power-ups. Ronnie Dobbs is back. Uh-oh. This is bad. Now all their pitchers are tired. Ooh, that's it. Uh, Alright. Just two for five today for Keisha. Which, in, the, in, in real life, is not bad at all. But for her, that's not great. But you still got the home run, though. So, four consecutive games of the home run for Keisha. That cannot be understated. That's really impressive. That's one of the best streaks I've ever had with a player while playing this game. Alright, honestly... I think I'm going to give this to Nomar because we've got two outs and two men on. So I'm just going to let Nomar have this. So Nomar gets a free home run. He's going to get three RBI. We get two outs. I need that 20 piece. We're going to be up 19-0. I need that 20 piece. Okay. And we know that Amir can, of course, crank dingers. So come on, please, Amir. Please give me 20. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? What? That is 20 to 0 on the Mariners. On your head. In the ALCS. Don't mess with a mirror like that. Who's the best brother now, dude? It's a mirror. I think Amir is officially the best brother now. No question about that. He's been he has been nuts in these playoffs. I'm so glad I got my 20. You have no idea. I got my 20 in the ALCS. Randy Johnson could fly out. He's, he's, he's been on base three times today. Randy Johnson is three for four according to the game. That's crazy enough in itself. I don't care what he does. That's okay. He's going to ground out here. Because you know what? 20 to zero. Heading into the bottom of the sixth. Completely embarrassing, the Mariners. And do they have any life in them whatsoever? We have scored in every single inning. Fly it right to Nomar. Come on. Come on. Light work. Get to the pizza party for the ALCS. Bring out the trophies. We're going right to the World Series. Susan Gore with the grounder right to Ahmed. Easy play. One more out. We are one out away. And of course, it is Freddie Benson from iCarly. And he grounds out, and we are headed to the World Series. Let's go. 20 to nothing. Game over. Mariners, bye bye We're heading to the series. Let's go, baby. So we will be playing... The Arizona Diamondbacks in a best three out of five series for the Backyard World Series Championship. And man, that game was a doozy. First off, gotta get through pitching. Uh, Randy Johnson only had to throw 43 pitches. Through six innings, he only threw 43 pitches. That's crazy. Only threw two balls, 41 strikes. That is ridiculous. Only four strikeouts, only three hits allowed. So that might not seem like, you know, anything big, but dude, Randy Johnson 
locking them down. They, there were so many one-pitch outs. They swung on the first pitch so many times. Just a horrible game plan allowed us to cycle through. Just one of the easiest games Randy Johnson has had this entire season, but we got to go to batting. Everybody scored in this game. And look at this. Nine RBI for Pablo Sanchez. Story of the game. Three dingers. Just way, way, way too easy. Keisha Phillips got her fifth home run in the past four games. She's just been on a tear in these playoffs. But not to be outdone, Amir Khan showing out showing who the best Khan brother is. I mean, this is just really crazy. Amir Khan has flown under the radar this entire season. He was a very dependable hitter in the regular season, but he is just shown out in these playoffs. He has been on a different level, and I think officially he has the highest batting average on the team now. Two home runs, four RBI. He's the one who finally gave us that 20-piece awesome performance. And of course, Nomar got that... Uh, Aluminum power home run to bring in the three runs to set up a mirror for the solo shot So that has to be stated as well. So let's head into this matchup We are at super colossal dome and we are playing the Arizona Diamondbacks and they have pitching Amanda Hellerman who is the Randy Johnson clone. She has all the same stats 10 out of 10 at pitching, so she's gotta be we gotta watch out for her. Of course, other notable players, Davey Marion, nine hitting, nine running, no joke. And then Cindy Chang, who to me looks like a Vicky Kawaguchi clone, only one at batting, but she's nine at running, ten at fielding. So on offense, she might not be that big of a threat, but on defense, shortstop, she's gonna be excellent. Libby Futterman is a solid hitter as well. And then they have Marky Dubois playing in center field. That's going to be interesting. We just got to hit the ball out to him and hopefully he can't catch up to it because he's slow. But I will say, man, as I've said, you don't ever underestimate your opponent. But I got to say, on paper, even compared to the Twins, pardon me, the Tins, and then the Seattle Mariners, the Diamondbacks look like an even weaker team. So I don't know what we're in for in these World Series, but whatever. But regardless, I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. That was a super fun game. I think everyone on the team showed out somewhat in that game. We put up 20 runs on the Seattle Mariners in the ALCS. And we move on to the World Series. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, let's just keep chugging along, man. I'll see you guys in the next video.